Why is the sky blue? Humans have been asking this question for centuries. Let's start with light. Photons of light are white packets of energy traveling in waves. They travel at the speed of light in a straight line unless they bump into something and are reflected or scattered. Even though photons appear white, they're actually made up of all the colors on the electromagnetic spectrum. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. Or Roy G. Biv. Each color has a different wavelength and therefore has a different amount of energy. For instance, colors towards the red side of the spectrum have longer wavelengths and therefore have less energy or are less powerful. Whereas colors towards the blue side have much shorter wavelengths and therefore have much more power. Our planet's atmosphere is 300 miles of things like dust, water vapor, and gas molecules. So why does the sky appear blue? As light from our sun hits our planet, it bumps into things in our atmosphere and interacts with them. When it runs into things like dust or water vapor that are much larger than light waves, it's simply reflected and continues to appear white. But when it bumps into something very small, like a molecule, say nitrogen, it interacts much differently. The light's color becomes scattered. In physics, they call this Rayleigh scattering, named after the English physicist, Lord Rayleigh, who discovered it. Colors with shorter wavelengths, like blue, are absorbed by the molecules and eventually re-emitted in all different directions. As light hits our atmosphere, its reddish colors are less affected, but its more blue colors are continually absorbed and re-scattered, so no matter which direction you look, you see much more blue light, making the sky appear blue. But wait a second, what about sunsets and sunrises? Don't those appear more red? They do. When our sun is low on the horizon, its light has to pass through much more atmosphere to make it to your eyes. And because of this, the light gets scattered, rescattered, and scattered some more. So we see much less blue light, and more of the reds, oranges, and yellows are able to make it through and to our eyes. If you were to travel out into space, you'd find that the sun does not appear yellow, orange, or red, but completely white. There is no atmosphere in space to interfere with the sun's light, so it travels in a straight line, and its colors are never scattered. As a free service, we rely on the support of people like yourselves, so please subscribe to our YouTube channel.